It's a purple iPhone 12. D did you really want an unboxing of that? Because, I mean, I I've already unboxed an iPhone 12, and if you just listen to it, it's the same experience. It is a really nice color, though. I Purple is one of my favorite colors. I like purple. You're probably here for AirTags, for the unboxing and the, the setup experience, what that's like, and, and get a demonstration. And that's what I'm here to cover. This is probably the most practical and useful product, believe it or not, that I will unbox this year. Maybe, I don't know, someone show me a pair of AR glasses already that scan the world and, and just, just map everything out and tell me what is what and read things to me. Let me know when that's coming. Air tags, yeah, I am. I'm pretty excited for these, and this isn't like a product I thought I'd be really excited for. But I'm legally blind. I lose things quite often. I lose my white cane, the thing that helps me see the world outside of these four walls. I lose it sometimes. So you can bet that I'm probably going to be putting an air tag on my white cane. Keys as well, that's important. I tend to lose that. Uh, throw it in my backpack. And when I get my guide dog, probably put one on my guide dog. I just also want to say thanks to Apple for uh, sending the iPhone 12 and the AirTags along with all these accessories. Uh, I kind of just need to disclaim that this is not sponsored. This is simply just units for uh, coverage, review. Just to get you up to speed, AirTags are Apple's newly announced trackers to help you find lost items essentially so your keys your bike your dog if you put one on its collar perhaps just make sure it's on the back side you don't want a dog to chew it they're water resistant which is really nice these actually connect to your iphone and then when you add them to your apple id they'll go onto your find my network so you're able to track them on the find my app they have one year battery life which is estimated i guess we'll find out in a year or less. However, one cool thing is that is very unlike Apple in 2021, you can actually remove the battery in these and swap it out, replace the battery yourself. So that's kind of cool. Where do you find a new battery? I, I, I don't know yet. Apple hasn't, whether it's you get them through their support team or you get them from their online store or in store, we don't know quite yet at the time of recording this, but hopefully that will become clear once these go on sale. So when will you be able to start to lose your AirTags? Well, you'll be able to order them on April 23rd at 5 a.m. Pacific time, 8 a.m. Eastern time. AirTags individually are gonna cost $29, not too bad. I'm quite satisfied with a year of battery life. I recently invested in tiles and um, those lasted about three months. That's unfortunate. And here I have a pack of four AirTags, which will also become available. Those are gonna cost $99 for that pack of four. And they're all serialized, so all four individually have their own serial number. Something I just really like to point out is Apple makes their unboxings really accessible. There's a little tab on the back. You can kind of feel that. It's also green for those who can see color. Just peel it off. It makes the process so much easier. It is a little strange to be unboxing this from the bottom. That's how it's supposed to be, I suppose, because, I mean, that's that's what was... Anyway, most, yeah, most products are typically from the topper. So once we slide these out, they've got a little bit of instructions on the side. And right there, you have four. All right. It's really quite a simple uh, unboxing. I mean, this is really all there is to it. It's, they're, they're air tags. There's no charger. It's, you know, these batteries that last about a year. Uh, hopefully, again, we'll find out. Uh, and uh, they're, they're user replaceable. Now, one cool thing I want to note here is, and I didn't choose any of these uh, engravings, so uh, I don't know what I'm in store for here. Apple sent me some pre-engraved uh, air tags. Once you kind of get this rub, oh, it makes a noise, by the way. They have a speaker, sort of. It's not really even a speaker. It's it makes noise, but it's not a speaker. I don't know, someone more technical can explain that. So once you pretty much take off the plastic, it'll make that noise, it activates the battery and turns it on indefinitely until it dies. Oh, and of course I grabbed the one that doesn't even have the engraving. 
<laughs> I was literally just talking about. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it doesn't have an engraving. It's just this flat white surface. It's a circular, it's like a disc. It's really tiny. It fits in the palm of my hands. It's probably the size of like a, a US dollar coin, perhaps, maybe even smaller or bigger. I don't know. I don't use coins. I don't even use physical cash, really. We got three more here. Let's let's check these out as well. By the way, you, you can't feel the engraving for anyone who may ask that or, or was wondering. Um, there There's just, yeah, the, no texture to it. It's just kind of printed on. This is an emoji. It's a thumbs up, so that's cool. I think you can only fit like so many characters on these, by the way, maybe it's like four or five. So you can put your initials. If you have a real short name, put your name. My last name's Wrath. I'd probably just put Wrath. You steal my air tags, you'll feel my Wrath. RJ T. Apple, I don't know if you thought this through. RJT, you're not wrong. Those those are my initials. <laughs> but it's wrong. It's it goes the R is supposed to be in the back. So Wrath James and my middle middle name, which is a, a T. Possibly every person who got air tags early got these same initials maybe but hey i got my initials so that's kind of cool just a little out of order jg who's jg these are really quite small and you know it's, it's not practical to just have an air tag by itself maybe it is if you're throwing it into a bag or a little pouch uh but apple i think really thought the real money maker here accessories so uh, keychains, uh, bands as well, that you can put onto your uh, your luggage or, or whatever it might be. Apple sent me a couple here. We've got the leather key ring. We've got the leather key ring. We've also got the uh, loop, it's called the AirTag loop. And then AirTag leather loop. So you got some options, so that's cool. One of my favorite moments though, during the keynote was they announced the price of the AirTags. 29 bucks, right? And like. They're pretty, they sounded pretty proud about that price point, which is fair, it's not a bad price point at all. But then they followed it up with, hey, we also have accessories and we partnered with Hermes. Hermes is this luxury, uh, I believe it's a French brand, I, I could be wrong, but a luxury fashion brand. And uh, they partnered with Hermes. Hermes is making uh, key rings and, and uh, keychains and all that. So yeah, those range from $349 to $449 US. I, all right. Yeah, I do like the leather key ring. I mean, I think this is a, uh, yeah, makes sense. I mean, probably gonna put this one on my on my keys. Uh, while at the same time, I have these loops and, and I feel like the loops would make more sense to have on my white cane. It's just the irony of a blind person losing their white cane. You'd be surprised. I lost one of mine in an Uber and that was because I was going to a job, it was a directing job, so we were meeting up, it was wardrobe day, and I, you know, as the director on the commercial, I had to make sure the outfits were, you know, suitable and good, and you know, just pre-production pre work. Uh, but anyway, my mind was quite occupied while in the um, Uber, and I'm you know, taking notes and everything, and as I get out of the Uber, I realize I'm in a new location, and, and I'm like, wait, where am I? How am I supposed to move? I mean, I, my legs, but how am I, how am I supposed to know where I am and find my place? And then I, that's when it hit me. I left my white cane in the Uber. I mean, I did pretty much notice immediately and I like turned around, but by that time, like Uber just drove off. Never got that white cane back. I had to buy a new one. Let's go ahead and grab our first air tag. One of my favorite things about making videos here on YouTube is that it's interactive. It's not just one sided. So there's comments, there's subscriptions, there is a like button, just like on this air tag. I like, I like that segue. We're gonna use this air tag. It's it's um it's got the thumbs up. You know, maybe if you look at it down, it's a, it's a dislike button. Yeah, if you like the contents of this video, be sure to hit that like button. Helps notify me. Oh, it's such a nice sound. I like that. It's subtle. It's 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 easy on the ears. Air tag heading. All right, air tag, air tag. Air tag heading. <laughs> okay, I, sure. So we've got our AirTag. It's already popped up on our iPhone. And uh, there's a connect button. Dismiss. Button. Double tap on that. Name AirTag, heading, backpack, pick right up, adjustable, one of the backpack, bike, one of 11, camera, one of 11, handbag, one of 11, headphones, one of jacket, one of 11. 
of keys, one of luggage, one of umbrella, wallet, one of custom name. So it gives you some preset names already, your wallet, your, your... I'm gonna give it a custom name though. Text field is insertion point at end. A-I-T-E space, white, name air tug. White. Caps A-N-E. Cane. Is that Text right? Text field is editing, white cane, character mode, insertion okay. point at end. close, button, continue, button. Select an emoji to represent this air tag. Ooh, I can select an emoji. Heck yes. Cool thing is, blind folks have representation with emojis, so, uh, Search emoji. Text field. yeah, let's do that. Man with medium light skin tone with a white cane. So we've got a white cane to represent the white cane. So we have four air tags here. Play sound. Uh, play sound. Connecting. I'm going to play a sound because I'm trying to determine. Okay, it was not the one I thought was being set up. It's this one right here. Okay, so now that I know which air tag I actually had just set up, let's customize it. I want to go ahead and put it in this uh, red leather loop. It's a clip. Eclipse. Okay, cool. So I want to make sure I don't pull on it. So, you know, I have a, I have a white cane. It has a red stripe at the bottom. So in the Find My app, under the profile of your specific air tag, you'll have its name. You'll be able to play a sound as we just did. Connecting. Turn that off real quick. So when you're in the Find My app, you'll be able to actually open up the profile of your specific AirTag, and you'll be able to have a few options to try and locate or find the whereabouts of your AirTags. Play sound, off. Obviously the play sound. Find, nearby. The find feature is the precision tracking. We'll check that out in just a moment. I'm really excited to test this out. So you can also set notifications. Notify when found, dim, switch button, off. There's also lost mode. Lost mode will put your AirTag into a lost mode it will essentially lock the air tag and what it will do is you'll be able to put a custom message on it whether you want to put your number or your email address or let the person who may come across this and find it know that hey this is lost and it's being tracked you'll also receive notifications when a location becomes available which is really cool uh, so if another person does come across it and, and they you know pick it up or they're, they're moving around with it uh, they'll get notified on their uh, apple device and be like hey you're by a lost air tag or you picked up a lost air tag. So I want to try on this precision tracking again. This is good from even just like being out in the street and you're trying to locate where you, you left your, uh, your, your wallet, your phone, your bag, whatever it might be. You could also put one in your car. If you drive a car, I'm not one of those people, but if you leave in your car and you try to figure out where did you park in the parking lot? Cause I, I hear that's a pretty popular thing among sighted people. I don't know, try using your eyes maybe. Right here, this is my white cane. This is my air tag. They're gonna go together. So I don't lose this. It's kind of a it's a big deal when I lose my white cane. Alright, now how do I do this? That's a great question. I might need to collapse my cane real quick. I have this part of the white cane. It's typically like what helps wrap it up. Don't know if I'm doing this quite right. So the leather loop has a hole up at the top that kind of is a um, sort of key shape. It's got this round top and then long bottom. So I've got my white cane attached to my air tag. I'm gonna go leave the white cane somewhere. We're gonna check out the precision tracking. So it's um, it's really not too far to be honest. I just uh, literally put it on the other side of the room. But I wanted to show the benefits of voiceover, which is what I use to navigate my iPhone. That's what you're hearing and actually show you uh, what that precise tracking looks like so it literally knows that I'm going further away from it so that's cool hear that okay So I'm actually getting haptic feedbacks and it's it's basically vibrating based on where I'm pointing. So it starts vibrating when you're looking in the right orientation. So let's go uh, see if we can go find it. Seven feet to your right. Six feet to your right. Five feet to your right. Four feet to your four feet ahead. Three feet ahead. Three feet nearby. Two feet nearby. One, one point, one point and now it's vibrating one, rapidly one point, one point, feet, as I walk two, away two, from this. Three feet, four feet ahead. So it's really playing a game of like hot and cold. You get colder, the vibrations get slower as you get further away, but then they start to speed up and they start pulsating as you get closer. I'm here. I found them. Okay. So literally, there, there it is. There's my white cane. You found it. 
great. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I think these are one of the most practical devices that I'll be covering this year because this is gonna be very helpful. I lose things pretty much on a daily basis and just having Siri or having my phone quickly just tell me where it is and if I'm really having trouble, which oftentimes I do. I gotta say that, that precision tracking is definitely what seals the deal for me. It's, it's just, it's super handy being able to feel where my devices have continuous verbal feedback that I'm going in the right direction. You know, it's, it's kind of like playing a game of Marco Polo, especially if you're playing the noise, but the verbal uh, feedback from voiceover at least is, is like a good game of hot and cold. And with Apple's implementation of the haptics during the precise tracking, it really just felt like I could see the distance from that device, from that AirTag, or my white cane in this case. Even though I couldn't see it per se with my eyes, I could feel how far away it was. I could feel the distance, how far away I was getting from it. What I love is that this little feature is just simply accommodating how I see different. I've never been so excited to lose something in my life. The features that this offers and the accessibility that's been really considered in the design of using this, I think these are my favorite Apple product right now. Like, if you were just to ask me, what is your favorite recent Apple product? I love my Mac. My Mac is literally what gets me online. It helps me edit video and etc. My iPhone is such a practical piece of tech and a real world magnifier uh, reads text to me and lets me communicate. But I mean, AirTags, again, just keep it all together. They, they, AirTags really do help me uh, see my things in a different way. I highly recommend getting a pair of AirTags if you have an iPhone 11 or 12 or plan to get one because you're not gonna regret this, especially if you're prone to losing things. In the description of this video, I will provide links to where Apple details the features that are privacy focused and help protect its users and its non-users who um, don't even own an AirTag, but will have a concern about privacy of other people's AirTags. Now, of course, I am just one opinion on this, and I love these things. I, I'm a huge fan already, and I tend to cover things from the universal design aspect, talking about the accessibility benefits that everyone can benefit from, and not just someone from the perspective of a visual impairment. But if you would like to hear a little bit more of the technical aspects of these, a bit more focus on the uh, just the overall consumer experience of AirTags, be sure to check out iJustine's video on her AirTag unboxing and, and setup. Uh, it's brilliant as uh, you would imagine an iJustine video would be. I would like to hear from you. What is the most recent thing that you lost and did you find it? Did, did it ever come back? And would AirTags have helped you in that scenario or really any kind of tracker? Let me know in those comments down below. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content around the perspective of being legally blind. I try technology, I try new experiences, I travel. I also talk to awesome people within the industry who also think with universal design. They, they think and they advocate for a more accessible society. So be sure to check out my podcast and interviews I do on this channel. I hope you could see different today. I'll hear you next time. Bye.